condition uh, seems to be very suitable for you? Uh, well, we haven't played it during the World Cup, but we, we obviously played before um, before Christmas, so I think we're relatively familiar with the conditions, and I suppose the wicket will will be low and slow and turn a little bit. Um, South Africa have played here a bit, and they seem to have adjusted with the with the makeup of their team. So I think there'll be two teams um, who are relatively suited to these sorts of conditions. Daniel, um, having watched South Africa through the group stage and some, some of the ways that they've performed, what do you think is their particular strength and is there any weakness you can identify in their makeup at the moment? Um, uh, they've obviously played some really good cricket. I think they've been one of the form teams in, in world cricket for a long time. So we know they're going to be a huge challenge. We know they've got good players all up and down their, their order. Uh, but I think like any captain would sit here and say that it's about what we do tomorrow we can play well, then we give ourselves a chance. If we don't against a team like South Africa, then it's going to be tough. Daniel, how, how's the, how, how's the, how'd you look at the team's performance over the group stages? I mean, you guys won a great game against Pakistan, maybe lost, lost a couple against Sri Lanka and Australia. How, how are you guys sort of feeling with that form coming into you know, this crunch game? Uh, I suppose it all depends when you play those games. If Pakistan had been the last game, then we'd probably come here pretty confident with the way we played. But uh, our last performance was against Sri Lanka, and we're... We were disappointed with the way we played there, but um, to get through those group stages, to play that game against Pakistan, and hopefully we can look back on that game and try and bring that to the table because that really is the model to, to try and win one-day games. And we've got to build, build up those partnerships and then let our aggressive guys attack at the end. And if we do that, um, coupled with some really good batting and bowl, uh, sorry, fielding and bowling we've had throughout the tournament, then we give ourselves an opportunity. Dan, you had a bad time here in, Shil uh, here in Bangladesh, losing 4-0 to the home side. Uh, you think that record will come back to haunt you? I mean, no, I, I think that's irrelevant now. It's a quarter final against South Africa. Thank you. <coughs> you say it's irrelevant, but what have you learned from that series? Um, well, I think it's just the experience of, of being here. I think sometimes if you go to a ground and a in a pressure situation then, and you've never been there before, then maybe it takes a little while to get um, assimilated. But I think the guys know the ground pretty well. They're all looking forward to come back here and, and playing, playing against South Africa. So it, it, it will be about the quarterfinal tomorrow rather than what's happened in the past. I think that, that that will be the key to our success. We, we played our best game against Pakistan when the batting fired, when we got a guy to get through to 100, a couple of crucial partnerships through it, and, and we've been at our worst when, when those things haven't happened. So the top five in particular, which is an extremely talented top five, uh, is up for this game, and I think if they perform, then they'll, they'll give us a chance because we've got a, a, a very good fielding unit and we've got a, we've got a solid bowling attack. So if we can complement that with a, with a good performance with the bat, then we're, we're going to be in with a chance. Dan, um, over here. Uh, what has Alan Donald brought to your setup and the makeup of the team? Um, he's brought the fact that someone asks that question every single time I come to a press conference. Um, I think he's, he's Alan Donald. He brings a lot of confidence to the unit. He brings a lot of ideas, uh, but mainly that confidence. I think he's, he's looked at our bowls and said they're, they're extremely talented, but how can I take them to the next level? And, and it's a lot, about, a lot of it has been about preparation, uh, about knowing how to succeed in the subcontinent and bringing the right attitude. And I think, in particular, Tim Salvey's probably benefited the most from him, from him and his performances have followed. Uh, Dan, just, just carrying on from the, from the batting, you know, New Zealand top five, like I said, probably got some of the best ball strikers in the world at the moment. Uh, how frustrating has it been for you and, and, and them, I guess, that they've not been able to sort of perform as, you know, as, as sort of befits the kind of, kind of talent that they have? Well, I, I think it's, it's not so much the frustration, it's just always looking forward to the next game and realising that these guys can do it. I think they're, they're extremely talented and, and if you look at their records um, as they stand alone, they're, they're pretty good. So what, what better time than to, to rectify a couple of, of tough performances than now? And, and like I said before, we've, we've seen the game plan that works against Pakistan, able to build a total and, and, and be able to, to unleash at the end. And, and if we get a guy like Ross Taylor or Scott Storris or Jacob Warman in those last 10 overs with, with wickets in hand, then we know we can can be dangerous. 
Um, Dan, are you yourself and Brendan McCullum okay? Are you replaying th through some pain? Or are you okay? Sorry, are, you? are yourself and Brendan McCullum okay to play? Are you, are you going to be playing through some yeah, pain? Yeah, uh, Brendan's, uh, Brendan's fine. He's, he's got a bad knee, but he's, he's continued through it. Um, I, I seem to be progressing pretty well. Bowling and batting, not so much of a problem. So another another head out today and it should be fine. Dan, yeah. are, you, are you happy with your own form coming into these water ponds? I mean, uh, you've missed a couple of games, but... Uh, uh, Bowling-wise, I mean, you think you were taking enough wickets for the team to dip in a lot? Um, well, I don't have any form because I haven't played for, for, for a fortnight, so I've always bowled well at this ground, so hopefully it continues. Uh, Dan, uh, many people thought Darren Sammy's decision to uh, bat first here yesterday wasn't all that uh, a smart move. What would you want to do on a pitch like this, you know, put the opposition or, or, or take advantage first up? No, all the feedback seems to bat first. Um, spoke to a lot of people at the ground yesterday. I think Pakistan are going to bat first as well. So if you look at that wicket, you, sorry, you think it's a bat first wicket, but um, things change. So, but I think most teams would want to bat first. South Africa did it really well in the game against Bangladesh. Thank you, Ryan. Thank you.